All right. Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome. We are back here in uh, my basement for another uh, guitar review rig rundown, if you will. Um, I actually recorded this one earlier today, but unfortunately, I lost all of the audio data from both the Zoom recorder that I tried to use as well as the on-camera mic. So, we're going to try again. This here, and uh, I'm reviewing my guitars for, for those of you who aren't aware. This here is my uh, kit Telecaster. Um, it's made off of a guitar fetish kit. It's a Polonic body, a uh, maple neck with a rosewood fretboard. Um, came completely raw, unfinished, with a blank sort of paddle headstock. Uh, I did cut out the headstock into a, like, mildly reminiscent of a Telecaster sort of shape. And we'll focus, there you are. Um, as well as, uh, obviously, finish the body, painted it, and then uh, put a uh, uh, poly coat on it. Uh, however, when I was doing the, like, final coat of the... Uh, the poly lacquer on the outside of it. Uh, I was doing it outdoors because I didn't really have like a ventilated area to spray it. I had a leaf fall down from a tree, land right on top of the finish and completely ruin it. Um, I was pretty cheesed. Rather than um, sort of re-sand and paint and then finish the guitar again, I decided, okay, you know what? This one's going to be my, my relic guitar, my, my road-worn uh, model here. Uh, so I ended up just kind of digging it up a little bit, rubbed it here and there. Uh, I'm not really happy with the work I did on the pick guard. I think I'm going to end up having to sort of scuff it up, sandpaper, and then doing like a coffee or a tea soak treatment, something like that, um, just to give it a little bit more of an aged look. Uh, having said that, a lot of the damage on this guitar is, uh, sort of has come honestly, um, you know, on the back, for example, uh, it's kind of gross. Uh, and you'll see it's kind of black and scuzzy. And a lot of that is I kept it inside of a case in really humid weather. And my finish decided that it wasn't totally cured. And a bunch of the, like, fuzz from the case kind of adhered to the back of it. Uh, so cosmetically, you know, that's not the most ideal thing. Uh, well, I've got it turned around here, I'll also show you the string ferrules. These are the only hardware, uh, other than the neck plate, on this guitar that aren't gold, that are just sort of like a, a, a chrome finish. Um, yeah, so speaking of hardware, uh, I upgraded all of the hardware on this guitar. Um, went with some... Get my face out of there, so... It, yeah, there you go. Some Wilkinson uh, tuners. They're gold finish. Uh, they're they're of decent quality. They don't really slip or anything like that, and they're they're fairly high uh, ratio, so no complaints about those. Um, the bridge I went with a sort of non ashtray style Telecaster uh, type bridge, six saddles, uh, and then same thing with the control plate. Um, the hardware I bought's all kind of crappy. Uh, but it's worked out in this case because it's kind of tarnished and shown age in a way that kind of fits the aesthetic of this guitar, uh, which is kind of the, like, beat-up, fucked-out style. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, the pickups, I went with in the neck a magnetic field design from G&L Guitars. Uh, my first Telecaster guitar, uh, which I will get to soon, was a uh, G&L ASAT. And I uh, love the sound of that thing. It's incredible. Uh, just hits all the buttons for me. So I wanted another one. Uh, so I, I bought that pickup off of a friend, Mike Bell, and uh, put it up in the neck here. And then uh, in the bridge, I have it's a humbucker sized uh, P90. It's a guitar fetish GFS uh, Dream 90. It's their sort of lowest output P90 that they have, so it's definitely, it's more akin to a single coil. Um, but it's definitely its own thing.
And you kind of still get the telly thing, but it's it, it's it's definitely it's its own thing on the neck. Uh, yeah, definitely a little warmer um, with this neck pickup. Uh, you get definition, and it's, but it's it's really warm and. Uh, And, and, yeah, just a, a wonderful tone that I love. Uh, middle position. Kind of splits the difference. Honestly, it feels like it's just trying to do two different things there. But, uh, but yeah, if you want to get spanky with this, you can. Normally, I'd have a, a, an echo too echoey yeah scratch that um yeah you know uh again the compressor does good things for this one What else can I tell you about this guitar? Uh, yeah, um, I wanted a Seafoam Green Telecaster because uh, Susan Tedeschi has one. Uh, I couldn't find a Seafoam Green paint, uh, so the finish on this one, it, it's uh, called Pistachio. Uh, and that's kind of, because I'm a super uncreative guy, that's kind of become the name of the guitar. You'll notice a trend there. My my Les Paul with its wood color is woody. My Butterscotch t uh, Strat is Butterscotch. Uh, and you'll meet a couple of the other players soon enough. Um, yeah, but you know, this, this guitar has probably been played the most out of any of my guitars by me. Uh, it was definitely my number one um, hosting jam night for, for quite some time there. It was, it, you know, uh, it just... It does a lot really well. You can do those spanky, sparkly sounds, but you can also, if you give it, you know, some overdrive, you can uh, you can get into a little bit thicker territory. Or someone who could play guitar could uh, get it into thicker territory. Also, someone with an in tune, in tune guitar might have have better luck with a lot of this sort of thing. You know, uh, as I was saying, I lost the first video, but at least the guitar was in tune for that one. Oh, we're really all over the map here. I think, uh, yeah, you know, we might. Uh... Pistachio. She's my uh, Telecaster. If I missed anything, if you guys have any questions about it, don't hesitate to ask. Um, yeah, that's the uh, jack on this one is the weird like inset soap dish one. I don't recommend anyone ever use this style of jack. The ones that screw on, well, they screw on so they actually hold into place. You're not just relying on a pressure fit. Every time you trip over your patch cord, you're going to end up having to do some soldering. Uh, so it's not ideal in that regard. Um, yeah, you know. Guitars. I'd like to go outside and hang out with my friends. It's only been a week, and it feels like it's been a long one. Uh, I really hope this thing blows over sooner rather than later. But, you know, the, the sort of logic says that probably won't be the case. So I'm just going to keep doing these. Please uh, 
you know, say hello on the internet to me. Reach out. We're friends. And uh, let's uh, let's try and stay sane while we go through this weird shit together.